Although this problem is a little more difficult, this is definitely something we can do based on our understanding of the unit circle and other trig functions. Let's get started. We're going to go A, B, C, D until we find, we're going to continue to move until we find one statement that is true about the function f of theta equals tangent theta. Okay, let's get started. Right away, I know I can eliminate A because I know a period length for sine and cosine is 2 pi, but a period length for tangent, and it's reciprocal, cotangent is only pi. The graph has vertical asymptotes when the sine of a function is equal to zero. Well, let's just first look at this really quickly. So this is going to be one, zero, this is zero, one, and then when I think of these tangents at our three major points, at 60 degrees, it's radical 3, we've talked that's about 1.7. At 45 degrees, the tangent is 1, um, okay, so that's 1. And at 30 degrees, the tangent is about 0.57, which is a radical 3 over 3. Um, okay, gotcha. And the same thing would be down here, right? This is going to be a 0.57, it's negative. This is going to be a negative 1, and this is going to be a negative 1.7. By the way, look at this. If we just analyze our tangents, I know at 90 degrees, also known as pi over 2, and at 3 pi over 2, or 270 degrees, I know the tangent is undefined. Now, how do I know it's undefined at these locations? Because tangent is the same as sine divided by cosine. And 1 divided by 0, you can never have 0 on the bottom of a fraction. So I know, as I just spoke about up here, that the length the period length for tangent is a length of pi. And notice that pi is going to be 180 degrees. So from here to here, here to here is going to be, is going to be. So when I graph it, it's coming from here to here. This is going as far as pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. And now the entire way, look at this. If I was going to graph the output values for tangent, so if I go here to pi over 6, I'd be at, if this is 1, I'd be at 0.57. Now at 45 degrees, I'd be at 1. And at 60 degrees, I'd be at 1.7. So we can see it's coming in like this. Now at 0, it's at 0. And now it does the exact same thing, but opposite. At negative 30 degrees, I'd be at a negative 0.57. At 45 degrees, I'd be at a negative 1. And you can see it just comes in like this and goes like that. So as we read x's from left to right, we can see the entire way it is increasing. So it's increasing in between consecutive asymptotes. That is true. Correct option 